Ben Affleck is a multi-talented actor and filmmaker who catapulted to prominence after he and his childhood friend Matt Damon won the Golden Globe and Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for writing Good Will Hunting in 1997. Since then, he became a prolific actor and is widely known for his roles as Batman, Daredevil and Tony Mendez in Argo, but despite all his movie credentials, his love life was more appealing to the masses, especially when he and Jennifer Lopez became an item, thus the word Benifer was coined. It could be his celebrity status, his pleasing and comedic personality, or his leading man's good looks. Whatever it might be, it seems that he has charmed a lot of ladies. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch, and in this video, we're going to talk about Ben Affleck's ex-girlfriends and dating history. Starting off our list, we have Cheyenne Rothman from 1990 to 1997. As far as the general public is aware, Ben Affleck's relationship began with Cheyenne Rothman. Although she is not as well known as Ben, she is a member of the entertainment industry where she has made a name for herself as a director and producer. Her exploits date back to the 1990s when she was one of the people who received thanks credit for their contributions to the production of Good Will Hunting in 1997. Her relationship with the Hollywood star began before Ben Affleck became famous and they dated for for at least seven years, beginning in 1990. Cheyenne Rothman was reportedly Ben Affleck's high school sweetheart. They allegedly met and began dating while both students at Cambridge Ringe and Latin High School in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The relationship flourished until 1997, the same year Ben Affleck's career took its first exponential leap. As a result, one might be tempted to conclude that his newfound success in the entertainment industry drove him and Cheyenne apart. The truth is that the two are the only ones who know why their relationship ended. Gwyneth Paltrow from 1997 to 2000. While Cheyenne Rothman was Ben Affleck's first known romantic partner, Gwyneth Paltrow was his first high-profile relationship, which began in October 1997, the same year he split up with Cheyenne Rothman. Gwyneth Paltrow is arguably as successful in show business as Ben. She is a model, singer, author, and entrepreneur in addition to being an actress. Gwyneth Paltrow has dated her fair share of Hollywood hunks, as one would expect. Prior to her relationship with Ben Affleck, she dated Brad Pitt from 1994 to 1997. Gwyneth Paltrow met Ben Affleck at a dinner hosted by Harvey Weinstein's Miramax Film Company in October of the same year she divorced Brad Pitt, and their relationship began there. Moviegoers eagerly followed the couple's relationship, which culminated in their co-starring role in the 1998 romantic period comedy drama film Shakespeare in Love. They divorced in January of the following year for unknown reasons. They rekindled their romance when they co-starred in the 2000 drama film Bounce, but their love wasn't meant to be, and they split up permanently in October 2000. It's unclear why they split up, but they're still friends and have clearly moved on. From 2003 to 2016, Paltrow was married to Chris Martin, and since 2018, she has been married to Brad Falchuk. Jennifer Lopez from 2002 to 2004. Following the end of his relationship with Gwyneth Paltrow, little was known about the actor's love life until it was revealed in 2002 that he was dating superstar singer-actress Jennifer Lopez. They allegedly met in late 2001 on the set of Geely, a 2003 comedy film, and began dating in July 2002. It was only natural that their relationship sparked a lot of media attention, given that they were two of the most powerful Hollywood entertainers. It was arguably the most publicized relationship of both parties, who were affectionately referred to as Benifer. Ben and Jennifer were convinced three months later that they were ready for the next stage of their relationship, so they got engaged. Gossip sites and bloggers had a field day covering how the actor proposed to the actress in November 2002 with a 6.1 carat pink diamond ring. It was soon revealed that the power couple would tie the knot on September 14, 2003. They allegedly planned a large wedding in Santa Barbara, but no one was present to witness the event. To the surprise of many, they called off the wedding, which was set to be one of the most glamorous events of the year. The couple explained that they decided to postpone the wedding due to the overwhelming media coverage. But, as fate would have it, the Hollywood stars never got to exchange wedding vows because it was revealed in January 2004 that they had split up. As much as the media tried to find out what caused the breakup, neither party provided any meaningful information and instead requested privacy to deal with the situation. J. Lo later revealed in her 2014 memoir, True Love, that she had a difficult time dealing with the breakup. Jennifer Garner from 2005 to 2018. The Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner relationship began almost as soon as Benifer's foundation collapsed. 
The actor's relationship with Garner was his longest so far. Jennifer Garner, like the majority of the women he has loved, is a successful Hollywood actress. Before her relationship with Ben began, she dated the unit actor, Scott Foley, whom she met on the set of Felicity in 1998 and they subsequently got married in 2000 only to divorce in 2004. While she met Ben on the set of the 2001 romantic war drama film Pearl Harbor, it is believed that they met in 2003 while working together in Daredevil, a superhero film released the same year. Regardless, records show that they began dating in mid-2004, just a few months after Ben and Jay Lo divorced. Things moved quickly between the two, as they married the following year, on June 29, 2005. Rainer Andreessen and his husband Victor Garber officiated the ceremony in the Turks and Caicos Islands, and it was a private wedding attended by only Rainer Andreessen and his husband Victor Garber. Ben and Jennifer had three children, two daughters, Violet Ann and Serafina Rose Elizabeth, and a son, Samuel Garner. The children were unable to keep the marriage together, and the couple announced their decision to divorce in June 2015, after 10 years of marriage. They didn't file for divorce until April 2017 and it was finalized in October 2018. They both have joint custody of their children, and the reason for their divorce has remained a mystery. Some claim that the actor had a drinking problem that had a negative impact on his marriage. Later, he would confirm this to the New York Times. According to what he said, he drank more instead of confronting and dealing with their marital problems. This only exacerbated the problems to the point where getting a divorce seemed like a good idea. Lindsay Shookus from 2017 to 2018, and in 2019. Lindsay Shookus is an American television producer best known for her work on Saturday Night Live, for which she received 10 Emmy nominations, four of which she won. She has been working in the industry since 2002 and is married to a man named Kevin Miller. They allegedly married in 2010, had a daughter named Madeline in 2013, and divorced in 2014. Lindsay Shookus met Ben Affleck the following year, but to the best of our knowledge, they remained friends until 2017. They started dating in 2017, but broke up for unknown reasons in 2018, only to rekindle their romance in early 2019. They split up before the end of the year. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you wanna watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you wanna watch. Okay, now back to the story. Shauna Sexton, 2018. Shauna Sexton, a veterinary technician from Virginia who also models, appears to be the reason Ben Affleck briefly ended his relationship with Lindsay Shookus in 2018. According to reports, the two had a two-month fling that ended in October. Much is unknown about how they met, as well as the circumstances surrounding the start and end of what they had. However, sources close to them claim that they split up a few days after the actor completed a stint in rehab for alcoholism. According to reports, Sexton found the relationship difficult because Affleck's drinking problem caused him to experience mood swings. Ana de Armas from 2020 to 2021. Ana de Armas is a Spanish-Cuban actress. She has been acting since 2006 and broke into the mainstream in 2015 with her role as Belle in Knock Knock. She has since appeared in Exposed, War Dogs, Hands of Stone, Overdrive, The Informer, and Wasp Network. No Time to Die, among other things. Ana de Armas has been in a number of high-profile relationships. She began dating Spanish actor Marc Clotet in the mid-2010s, and they married in July 2011 before divorcing in 2013. Ana de Armas and Ben Affleck met on the set of Deep Water, a late 2019 erotic psychological thriller film with a January 2021 release date. According to reports, Ana ended the relationship because she didn't want to settle in Los Angeles, where Ben is based, and he can't compromise because his children leave there. The return of Benifer from 2021 to present. The Hustlers actress married Mark Anthony in 2004, the same year Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez ended their relationship. They divorced in 2014 after a marriage of about a decade. She was previously married to Ohani Noah from 1997 to 1998 and Chris Judd from 2001 to 2003. While she was still married to Mark, she began dating Casper Smart, her former backup dancer. They allegedly dated between October 2011 and August 2017. 
Wayne. Jennifer Lopez recently spoke with ET Canada about her new film, Marry Me, as well as her rekindling relationship with Ben Affleck, with whom she had been involved for two years. She stated that one should just do what feels right for them and follow their heart when speaking about giving her love a second opportunity after heartbreak. She went on to say that one should question themselves if it is right for them and then determine whether or not they should move on. She also mentioned how it was a crucial decision to make when you are in the public eye and people are interested in your selections. Jennifer then stated that despite all that, one should do what feels right in their heart. Jennifer Lopez recently starred in the romantic comedy Marry Me and has now released the music video for the film's title song. Fans have been fawning over the clip, which captures numerous facets of her day-to-day -day existence and includes a special appearance. A tiny glimpse of Jennifer's beau, famed actor Ben Affleck, can be seen in the video. Jennifer Lopez's Marry Me ballad from her recently released film was recently released as a music video on her YouTube page. The short clip depicts several parts of her life away from the camera, including her relationship with Ben Affleck. Jennifer Lopez can be seen playing the keyboard and resting in bed multiple times in the music video. Fans are surprised by a tiny glimpse of Ben Affleck, who is seen making her giggle and caressing her near the end of the clip. Fans are ecstatic with his cameo in the Marry Me song video, despite the fact that his face is hidden. The fan-favorite Hollywood couple also attended the Marry Me premiere, where fans applauded for Benifer and gave them a couple goals on the red carpet. The couple made a public display of passion by striking multiple positions at the event, which were captured on camera and circulated online. Jennifer Lopez looked lovely in a Dolce and Gabbana gown with intricate lace design while standing next to her beau, who was dressed dapperly in a suit. The Batman star was seen kissing Jennifer Lopez on the forehead, and the ecstatic pair was seen beaming from ear to ear. What do you think about our list? Are you a big fan of Ben Affleck? Did we miss anything or anyone that you think should have been included? Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time watchers, thank you for watching our video.